The coronavirus crisis seems to be exacerbating. As in China, the death toll from the Wuhan has jumped to 56, while nearly 2,000 people are so far infected by the incurable fatal disease. President Xi Jinping has warned the spread of deadly coronavirus is accelerating. More in this report. China has locked down over 100 million people in the hard-hit province of Hubei and neighboring Hunan in a bid to contain the spread of the deadly coronavirus. But the virus has already spread throughout China and around the world, with cases confirmed in countries as distant as France, Australia, Canada and the US. US State Department says it is arranging a flight to evacuate its staff at its consulate in Wuhan as well as other American citizens trapped in the city. Canada confirmed its first case of the coronavirus in a resident who recently returned from Wuhan. So we're, the case is in a male who's in his 50s. Um, he had traveled to Wuhan, China and uh, come back and within, uh, within a day became quite ill and um, the emergency service uh, was aware of his travel history, used full precautions, uh, was taken to Sunnybrook Hospital and is now um, in a negative pressure room. Uh, all the staff are taking appropriate uh, precautions and the, the condition is stable. Meanwhile, Hong Kong residents say the emergency measures taken by China are not enough. They say the government should limit the city's links with mainland China. They demand the government should limit Hong Kong's links with mainland China. Medical staff from other cities has arrived in Wuhan to support the fight against the virus. The symptoms of the deadly incurable disease include fever, coughing and breathing difficulties.